What's up guys, TJ got Kicks 89 here back with another video for you guys with this big ass box. First of all, let me wish a blessed Ramadan fasting month to all of the Muslims out there. I too am observing fast. So if you read the title of this video, you know what this is. The Double Box 2020 from DC retails for 329 US dollars. Very expensive. So, getting straight into the Double Box, um, I think I showed you the size tag. Um, the top of the box is just a DC logo. You've got DC shoes, logo everywhere around the shoe. Um, I've got my, my double up right there. But uh, let's uh, give you guys a closer look at the first pair at the top, which is the Kalis OG. Um, they came up all choked like this, which isn't cool. But um, God damn. Okay, I got it. I cannot. So this is the Kalis OG from the 2020 DC Double Box. The first time that this color has come back in OG form after so long. The last pair for these listed on eBay for about 350 ringgit or 3,500 ringgit, but we have it back. Um, not knocking the guy that's selling it, um, but uh, yeah. So we have the Kalis OG, and uh, I think I'll pull out the Williams as well. Williams is in the bottom drawer. This is a shoe that is very iconic as well to Stevie Williams' career. This is the DC Williams OG in the navy baby blue white colorway. We have this in OG form back after a really long time. We've got this in OG form back after a really long time too. So I think we're going to talk about the Kalises first because I don't have the Kalises yet. Um, I missed out on the OG drop, but um, when I saw this coming in the double box form, I just said I had to have it because I don't have too many shoes in this colorway. Um, so the Kalis OG obviously is Josh Kalis's first shoe with DC. Um, one of the main features is obviously the airbag that DC implemented and the PAL AB2000 toe cap on the front much like on the dc links right there um you've got a primarily suede with mesh build you've got suede lace loops in these lace savers here which you can also lace your um laces through if you're not feeling this style of lacing um you've got the white rope laces to lace out the shoes they do not come with extra laces by the way just in case you were wondering um you got the dc logo right there i think this the the, the most notable memory of me when i first th saw this shoe was actually a uh, josh kalis's footnotes i believe for rippedlaces.com uh watch that interview you can watch that you can see the original version that dc still has on their office at their office wall so you've got suede coming off the sides, multiple panels, obviously DC logo right there. You got a bit of mesh just right here. Going through the back, you've also got the same baby blue with this dark navy eyelet at the top where you can lace your shoes. But when you lace your eye, when you when you lace your when you put your laces through though that eyelet, it feels a bit um, it's far too squished down. So obviously for a much more secure fit, go ahead and do it. But I think just lace them up through to this top hole which is already fine uh, going to the back same thing uh, mesh and suede as well you've got the dc logo right there at the heel um done up in this very nice you've got oh at the back you've got like this very nice i think it's um synthetic leather lining right there at the back if you can see that um going on to the top of the shoe suede at the top Obviously, um, Nas skated his pair of the, the, the Kalis lights and the way that he does his kickflips doesn't really affect the mesh area because I think the toe cap just goes up a little bit higher, much like how the half cab uh, does. 
So um, depending on the ways that you do your kickflips, obviously, well, it depends entirely if you actually will be able to have this shoe last or not. Uh, so going up, um, you've got a baby blue uh, mesh tongue with this uh, gray and baby blue stripe going up. You've got the DC shoes logo right there, rubberized at the top right there with a pull tab. Um, on the back is a navy lining, so, sorry, a dark navy lining for the shoe right there with the size tag and on the inside my least favorite part of the shoe is the white lining because much like the dc links um the the gray and red dc links is this will obviously get yellowed and dirty over time but obviously if you're planning to wear these or you're not going to keep them on ice um it's definitely bound get, bound to happen so um, least favorite part of the shoe <laughs> least favorite design i think if they wanted to change it up they could have made it gray or so, I mean, grey or this dark navy would have been nice, but um, I think the white just pops so well on the side of the shoe, so hey, it's the design. On the inside, you've got a non-removable sock liner. I tried to remove this. It feels like those ortholites that came stuck on the DC Linksys with a baby blue um, DC logo right there. Um, main feature of the shoe is obviously the midsole. Uh, one of the first DC's to actually feature the airbag in the heel um, with the runner toe obviously um, so you've got this part at the front which is rubber and from this grey dark navy it's still rubber going to the back this part is all foam obviously to the um, leading up to the to the heel airbag um, the runner toe with the with the stitching on the top so it doesn't uh, fall apart that easily much more durable was what I meant to say and it's nice to note that this um, capsule design um, goes up a little bit higher so you've got a little bit more wear and tear area right there for for your ollies and your or whatever tricks that you're doing on your skateboard um, and I think one of the most beautiful souls um, that DC ever created was the, the one on the Kalis. Um, it When it's done right, it's broken up into these colors. So what you have is like this baby blue right there to correspond with the, to match with the, the, the top of the shoe. You've got this gray carrying on from the runner toe all the way to the back. And then the, and, and here in the middle, you can see the DC uh, shoe logo in dark navy and just a really really durable design for shredding love park from back in the day so that's the d that's the Kalis og we're gonna go into the williams og this is the williams og obviously i think i've made a video on the gray uh yellow one but this is a murdered out shoe i've always wondered what 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 shoe Stevie was wearing when he's doing those big ass pop shoves over at Love, but it's apparently this shoe. This is also his first shoe on DC. Um, design is primarily based off of, I think it was uh, a person corrected me and they said this was based off of the Iperson 4, um, but I remember, uh, I, I don't remember if it was Stevie himself or someone could have said that it looked it looks a lot more like the 12s but i i could agree with um the, the person commenting on my video thank you so much that this also looks like a pair of the iverson fives sorry fours or fives fours probably or any one of those iverson models but because uh stevie's from philly um iverson played for philly so yeah, the DC Williams OG finally back in the dark navy baby blue colorway. You've got a primarily um, dark navy, almost borderline black design for most of the upper. Like I said, it's murdered out with hits of baby blue, like on the on the lace holes, on the DC logo up top, this piping at the back. Um, but this shoe is primarily a um, nubuck. Uh, Nubuck based shoe much like the the, the yellow ones uh, the black love park ones were leather and you've got this um, I think it's the same pale B material. It's just this much more resistant wear Wear resistant material on the the main panel of the shoe which you will be um, Which will be in contact with the grip tape like I said top is Nubuck 
Um, going to the back, you've got the DC logo right there, rubberized. On the top, you've got the lace, um, the lace holes, obviously. Uh, if you want to draw your uh, your heel in, this shoe is not a, a very um, heel containing shoe because of the wide design. You have to really like really tighten these up and you've got to really utilize this top eyelid especially in a size us 10 i'm a size us 9.5 and i got this in a 10. um i tried walking around in the in the the gray uh yellow ones but um your heel just keeps slipping and i think if you watch malcolm's video golden era collector he tried skating his pair of parts it was really bad you could just feel just your heel slipping out so i think what i'm going to do to remedy that is put an insole in when i'm trying to skate these I digress, sorry. Going over to the back, you've got this uh, mesh uh, material. Going over over to the back, I said. The baby blue piping, I think it's synthetic leather. It could be new buck as well. I think it feels like new buck. Um, it's non-reflective, I think. DC logo right there. Um, new buck, uh, dark navy panel, again. Same thing on this side. Going up top, you've got the hidden lace loop, which is the reason why laces don't break on this shoe um dc logo right there you've got this felt material at the top of the shoe it's i think it was probably suede back in the day but it's felt now to obviously give it that long-haired shaggy suede look um dark navy laces doesn't come with extra laces again uh, the backing of the tongue is a um wow sorry i just found like an employee's hair sticking on my uh <laughs> Okay, that's interesting, but sorry. Going up, you've got the the, the dark navy backing uh, for, the, uh, for the tongue. On the inside, um, you've got a contrasting um, baby blue lining right there. I don't know if that was a feature on the OG, but that's a pretty nice touch to have. This Licra heel cup, which looks kind of, it looks kind of big and secure, but really it doesn't do its job because the way your heel sits, um, yeah, it's just, it wasn't really designed that well probably. I think like if you were to go two sizes down, this could be the perfect shoe to shred. But then again, you might have a short toe in the front. Um, in the inside, you've got the baby blue insole with the white DC logo. And another of DC's very successful designs was the midsole, um, which sits really low. This is a foam uh, material in the front here and to the back. Um, you can check out DC's um, Instagram post for, for more tech specs on the shoe. Uh, the slightly runner toe in the front and the DC logo right there. Much like the 12, which is why I say this is like the 12s. Um, this wears really well, by the way. It, it's kind of like the same uni light material that they use on the Kalis lights. Um, very abrasion resistant helps with skating um, on the I think you sit yes you sit right within this this foam cup so so it's a good shoe to really cup your 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 feet and really hold it in place but it's just the heel lockdown is pretty poor um, going over to the back you've got the same corresponding line for that design and the sole which is like this I call this the checkerboard hat then when I first saw the DC shoe video the DC video I mean and it's just this very aggressive tread pattern not very sticky at first i think you got to really wear this in and ground this down to, for you to get like a very sticky sticky feel on your skateboard but it wears well i assume so not that bad um uh, this i don't think is um a an impact g heel it's not i think it's just regular impact g i think but that is the soul of the uh, uh, Stevie Williams OG so that takes care <laughs> I'm kind of tired sorry doing videos in Ramadan is hard but that takes care of the video on the Kalis OG in baby blue and also the Stevie Williams OG in the bit in the in the dark navy blue for the DC 2020 double box I hope you've managed to get your pairs you didn't have to pay resale for your pair because that sucks obviously um, for some reason resellers are also cracking down on skateboarding footwear nowadays with uh, Nike SB's resurgence and whatnot 
but this is the 2020 double box two of my favorite shoes from dc tj got kicks 89 stay tuned for more happy ramadan